Hello and welcome to this uh, Stellaris video. I wanted to make a quick uh, video just uh, detailing a bit of uh, modding uh, and uh, showcase how easy it is to do nice changes to the game. And uh, specifically, I wanted to do show how to change uh, and add a new uh, galaxy types to the game. So, we are in the Stellaris here and we have a randomized empire. And if I select here, and get to the game details. You see, get the normal options here, everything we have available. And uh, if you look at the galaxy size, the normal options are tiny, small, medium, large, huge. And I've added a gigantic plus 500 more than the previous huge one here. And I did this uh, in about two minutes of just uh, looking through some files and fiddling with numbers. It's not that easy with this game. And uh, let me show you, uh, this is uh, just a plain uh, text editor here, I have open, and uh, it's uh, open at the moment on a spiral galaxy shape, so instead of that we'll go here and show you all these options here. So this is for example the tiny uh, galaxy size, and how, it's, how that is set up, the name, priority on the list basically, number of stars, radius, and all of this information. It's handily also telling you pretty much information how to do things and how to change these things in there. And number of nebulas and all of these, what types it supports, and then fallen empires and everything. And same for the small, medium, large, huge, and these are the base ones. So what I did, I just copied uh, the huge here, just copy pasted it into a gigantic .txt, changed the name gigantic, put the next priority since this was a uh, 4 and I just uh, just added a bunch of stars, added radius a bit more and I upped uh, the number of empires in there a bit and voila, we have a gigantic uh, galaxy size and you could uh, do all kinds of changes here as you want to do and it supports all of these options same thing, here are the galaxy shapes options they are a bit different so for example, the spiral option here is how this uh, is set up and uh, you can add uh, these in the same way. I didn't really play with them yet, but I, I will definitely see how this works as well. And ell elliptical is the base one, so the base one is here. And you can also change how countries are distributed, how fallen empires are done, and all kinds of... This is very, very, very customizable. And this is just not the... Uh, Galaxy option, which I'm showcasing here quickly. It's also a lot of other stuff in the game. Races, well, they're released, uh, modified just by creating a race, but you can also edit those files. For example, I had an idea of having basically Space Marines from Warhammer for the game into the game, but I ran into the problem of uh, not being able to do fanatical militaristic and fanatical xenophobe at the same time because there are too many point costs but I figured out that's also just text edit editing one of the files and it's very easy to do. So if you're looking to mod Stellaris even with no coding skills you can do a lot of stuff. A bit of, just a bit of reading through text files and trying out a few things you can already do this in a couple minutes. Just uh, customize how big galaxies you can have uh, of course, you might have to do some testing, like how bad does something like this go. I'm gonna show you, for example, uh, just start the game here with uh, the gigantic option, how clustered this gets. This gets fairly, fairly filled, and we should probably change some of the other things here. So we seem to be playing as these guys, we don't care. And you can see that this is the galaxy with the bigger options. It does get fairly, fairly populated. <laughs> but anyways, that's a quick look into the modding of uh, galaxy size and galaxy shapes of Stellaris. So thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time.